Patrick Comic World, Patrick Potter, the owner. So, Patrick, how long have you been in the business of comics? I've been doing this for 30 years. I've been a collector since 1967. How long have you had this store? And is, is this the first store? No, the, um, the original location um, was the, uh, the, the one in Keene Plaza, opened in 1982, and I bought it in 1992. So that was technically my first location. Uh, even though it had been there for 10 years, my first location for, the, for the, my first three years was the original store. And then um, we were in the Outback uh, Shopping Center for five years, and then uh, there was a little tiny shopping center uh, called Royal Plaza that I was in for two and a half years. I've moved the store several times. Um, we went back to Keene Plaza for five more years. We, we were able to re-rent the same exact space and we had a big you know, coming home party and a lot of people loved that. And A lot of folks that had lost us came back to the original store and had a lot of memories about being in that store before. And then after uh, you know, the rent uh, hike and uh, right before the, the economy kind of took a nosedive, the uh, real estate market was climbing and they kept raising the rent and it was time to go. Uh, pretty much that's the that's the, the the deal breaker for me. Every time they raise the rent, that's just you know just unreasonably high. Um, I'm just not going to stay where it's unreasonable. I'm going to uh, take a hint and move. I'm not going to uh, just keep paying higher and higher rent. That would right. just be foolish, and uh, I can di divert that money to towards buying great collections and taking care of the customers. I'd rather do that. Absolutely. So you've been into comics since you were a little kid, I bet. Yeah, my first comic was Superman number 200. I was four years old when I got it. Do you still have that comic? I do. It's a, it's a coverless, tattered copy, missing a page or two, and uh, I have it, you know, in a plastic bag put away just for sentimental reasons. I have two other copies, one that's for my personal collection, and then one that I, I have that um, I started a correspondence with the, uh, with the gentleman that was the artist. Uh, he lived in Pompano Beach. His name is Wayne Boring, and he was in his 80s at the time, and he was very kind and giving and uh, was um, nice enough to start a correspondence with me and agreed to uh, sign a copy of that book and another book that he had just worked on. Um, this is back in 1986, and so I mailed him the two books, and he uh, signed them. Uh, he used an actual lettering guide, so he had all his letters going in straight lines, and uh, sent it back to me, and we shared several letters. Uh, uh, I think he passed away in 88, but for those two years, he was, uh, it was very cool because I got to correspond with one of my heroes, and it was, uh, it was wonderful. That's great. I have that copy put away. You should have those framed and hanging up here in the store. Well, actually, I have them uh, in a... Uh, a, a darker, cooler place, which is a good place to keep uh, collectibles instead of um, putting them out where they can get too much light and, right. and fade. So, Well, it looks like your grand opening is going really, really well. So, Patrick, are you the only person that works in this store? No, my friend uh, Ashley is managing the store with me. Ashley? This must be Ashley over here. Ashley Klein? Ashley, Hi. would you like to uh, come over here and stand by Patrick? Sure. Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself, Ashley. Uh, I first started coming in the store in 2006 and helping him out. Uh, I started helping him out in what, 2000? 2000... 2007, really. Yep. Late, or early 2007. And uh, after a couple of years, you uh, yep. really had, you know, learned the skill, mastered the skill to manage the store. I became full fledged manager. All right. Yeah. Well, that's great. You guys have been together for, what, two or three years now? Something like that. Yeah, that's cool. Well, thank you very much, Ashley. Anything else you want to add to it? Mm, nope. Buy more comics. <laughs> yep, buy more comics. At Comic World. Yes, at Comic World. All right. Thank you very much, you guys. And good luck to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sure. Hello, Andy Lolino. How are you doing? How's it From Filthy Brain Jacked and the Uh-Oh Show. Uh-Oh Show. Yeah, so how's that going? Oh, the show's going well as far as I know. Um, it's out on Media Blasters. Uh, we have the doc, uh, which we are releasing soon through our Cult Movie Mania label. Um, so right now we're kind of promoting both the movie and the doc, and uh, Filthy also brain jacked uh, pretty much every movie that I've personally have been involved in, and uh, Cult Movie Mania, the website. Yeah. All right. Here we have Mike Christopher. 
the Hare Krishna Zombie from George Romero's 1978 classic, Shady Dawn Fingers. of the Dead. Be careful. Oh, that's <laughs> Gee, that's a nice uh, t-shirt you got on there. Yeah. That was my birthday jersey. <laughs> from, from my girlfriend. Nice. That's great. Look at that. It's a great shot of Sid Grace. Great horrific way. Sid Grace did that. I remember seeing that photo on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he did a great job. He gave us a, a copy of it that he... Okay. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh everywhere. Uh -oh. It's taking over the world. Yeah. And your Hi. name is Nick Curry. Cuddy. Cuddy. Yes. Okay, and. Last minute on these. And do you do you make these? Yes, I, I write them and I illustrate them. And uh, well, I did the covers, I painted those covers. Oh, uh, nice. paint, this, this painting is one of my paintings also. And, uh, <clears throat> and, I, and I get them published and sell them. And in fact, right now I'm trying to raise uh, funds. This is a graphic novel over here. Okay. And these are regular novels. And I'm trying to get uh, funding for a movie based on my character, Mooney. That's great. So and Mooney versus Phobia. The Spider Queen. And that's right. The movie's going to be called Mooney and the Spider Queen. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> and uh, it's all sci-fi, old-time sci-fi, ray guns, spaceships, uh, beautiful girls, monsters, alien worlds. And um, and Mooney is the main star. She can live in outer space without any life support. Oh. She's what's known as a star babe. So have you got somebody in mind to play Mooney? No, as soon as I raise enough money to do the movie, that's going to be my first job, is finding someone to play Mooney. Uh, these are these are some other movies that I've done, and I said the, the Mooney movie, I want it to be uh, the cream of the crop. Uh, I've used these uh, two actresses a lot because they're very, very good. Uh, Elizabeth um, Edwards and uh, Brittany Rodriguez but I'm going to have to go elsewhere to find Mooney. So. Somebody with some fantastic boobs. Yes, and willing, <laughs> and willing to show them off. <laughs> yes, I get to see that. Right, exactly. A very tiny, tiny costume. Oh, yeah. Like this one in particular. <laughs> Look at that. It's just popping right out at you. Exactly. Well, thank you, Nick.